One of the best thing about agent mode and using LLMs in agent mode is that they have the ability to call tools and tools specifically can read files, they can edit files, they can do fetching, for example, and tell none of these tools are built directly into the editors that you're using. Now, one of the problems that developers run into often is that you have too many tools because you can extend these agents with things like extensions or model context protocol servers. And MCP servers can be used anywhere. So like a GitHub or Playwright, for example, you can pull that in. And now from the LLM, from the agent, you can do additional tool calling to query GitHub repos, to open issues for you, to run automated tests through natural language. Well, Visual Studio Code just introduced a new feature called the Virtual Tools, which are one of my favorite new features I've ever seen that gets rid of this cap and solves it in a very unique way. So let's take a look. All right, here I am inside of VS Code. Under Extensions, I have some MCP servers. So I have the GitHub one and Playwright. I actually added some nice new icons to say this one is actually for this specific project. So I can see here I have a VS Code, MCP JSON, and this specifically here is the Playwright one. All right, so let's say I'm using this. Let me go ahead and just kind of bump this up. And the first thing I might do is say, okay, I want to um, get me open pull requests on James Montemagno slash feedback flow, for example. So the first thing that's going to happen is I run into this issue, which is that I have 145 tools available. And it's telling me that I have too many tools I need to disable some. So in fact, I was kind of notified down here with this little icon that I have too many tools. So I can actually click on this. And this is the new sort of view here inside of VS Code that has new groupings for the built-in ones. And I hope other MCP servers are able to take advantage of this. But these are built in. So things like editing files, fetching, you know, maybe I want to disable new, for example, I can just one click disable the entire group of new, which is really nice. But these are the built in ones, there's a bunch of them. And then I have some extensions like Azure resources, get a pull request, for example, that are just extensions that expose tools, and then the MCP servers themselves. And we can see that GitHub has a bunch of tools. And I also have playwright here as well. So I could solve this by maybe unselecting playwright hitting okay, and then rerunning this command. Now, in this case, it's definitely going to work because I have less tools than 128, which is sort of that default number there. And there's two open pull requests. But what if I don't want to uncheck all the tools every single time? It might be annoying if I'm just doing a bunch of work. So let's go ahead and enable this again. And if I come back in and let's clear out this chat, I'm going to go into our settings here and I'm going to type in virtual tools. And this is a new experimental feature with a threshold. Now I disabled this so I could show you this, but it's actually on by default and it's set to 128. So you could mess around with this here. What we're gonna see is that the virtual tool groups are kind of similar to sets of tools. And basically it's gonna tell the LLM how to work with them. So certain tool groups, they'll be optimistically preactivated and it's gonna figure out which tools inside of it that it needs to use based on the groups that are there. So the virtual tools. So let's go back over here. Now, I still want to point out here that if I go ahead and bump this up, I still get a little warning here telling me, hey, you have a lot of tools over here. It's selling you, but it's OK because I have virtual tool groups enabled. So let's go ahead and just get those again. And now this is going to work and it says optimizing tool selection. So that is going to optimize that tool selection first, and then it's going to go off and figure out which tools that it needs to call. And sure enough, now it is successful. So that is a super nice experience there, being able to go in and get that right at my fingertips, which is cool. Now, of course, I can still go in and I can come in here and I can, of course, you know, install and add MCP servers, add extensions. If I hit this gear, you can also create new tool sets. So I could say testing, for example, here, and then I could create a tool set in this place. And what tool sets enable me to do is actually define what tools I want to have available. So for example, maybe only testing tools or something like that. And then it would go ahead and give me icons and things like that. And I could select a tool set that I want to use. So tons of features built right in to um, Visual Studio Code for managing and dealing with these tools. And of course, it's going to tell you, which is really nice. So go in, play around, check out tool sets as well. That's going to do it for this one.
All right, there you go. Virtual tools and a whole bunch of new goodies for MCP servers inside of VS Code. Go ahead and give this a look. Now I'm here inside of Insider because I only do Insider. Anyone can get Insider, but this feature may already be out in uh, the stable. So doubly check that in the settings there too. Let me know how many MCP servers you're using, how many tools, and what you think of this new feature in the comments below. All right, that's going to do it for this video. So make sure you like, subscribe, do all those things. Until next time, I'm James. Thanks for watching.